everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. Six rounds of heavyweight action, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. He's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Rivera's making his way to the ring right now, flanked by his cornermen, and just an overall feeling that they're not exactly hyped up for this one. room let's have a good clean fight touch them up here we go round number one scheduled for six good shot to the head with that right hand I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Plus shot, the left hand came in. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Rivera's trying to survive this. He is taking a beating right now. That one good shot came in and rocked him. And that's the problem with his defense right now. You know, he's trying to block those shots. You can't block two, three, four, five, six shots at a time. They get through. Way through this round. Nice block by Rivera. Rivera is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. He just smashed him with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Hooks to the head. The way these two are going at it early on, they're going to break the punch that computer. Well, they're trying to break more than that. They're trying to break each other's will the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. And clicks of the talk. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Rivera. This round comes to an end here. Joe Tessitore sitting ringside as always with Teddy Atlas. Love coming to this fight venue. We always have a great time when we come to town with the exception of having to pay the bill for our entire crew on the night before when they take us out to a steak dinner. Yeah, you know, they remind me of fighters a little bit. 
you know, the fact is that we see that have very, you know, every once in a while, very short arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know? They, they do. They, they, these guys, they don't have the reach. No, they, they can't don't. reach for the wall. No, they don't. And I tell you, they would be great on the inside. Really great. I wish I could put them on the inside in the kitchen where I didn't have to take care of them at the table, but great guy. Yeah! Good work! Carries that punch intended for the head. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Rivera's given me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the nonstop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. Do that again! Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Rivera. You see him holding on halfway through round number two. Good job! Good looking two punch combination there. Solid jab by Rivera. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. That was a miss by Rivera. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Rivera's right hand scores well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Good step back counter punch there. Committing to the combo now, both lands. This is your fight. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Rivera's jab lands well. Good exchange. He fires back. Nice combo by Rivera. Keep moving. Keep moving. In and out. In and out. Takes one to give one, he comes back with a right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. Accurate uppercut after taking a shot of his own. Jenkins up! Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good scoring shot, it was a straight right. Solid left hand. Fires off the hook, look at that. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice solid left hand scored by Rivera. Keep moving. We gotta see Zeebo's coming. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Jazz. Pop the jab. Use the jab. Use the jab. Do that again. That look good. Do that one more time. Nice work. The left hand to the head. Come on, champ. 
Jackson. Boy, that worked out well with the uppercut. Rivera's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Still not Good return up. fire that That's time. You gym. get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. <laughs> And this round comes to an end. In this fight. Got him pick it up. You hear me? There you go. Ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number four. But I still think that either fighter could take complete control of this fight. He's up around right now. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He just missed that shot up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Able to land with the right. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Great work offensively landing that combination by Rivera. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Blocked by Rivera. Boom, left hand comes home. Teddy, he's wobbling all over the ring. You know, Joey can't. There it is! Rivera's laid out, and it was a huge hook that did it. If Ali's watching this one, that gave him bad memories. Memories of Madison Square Garden and that left hook by Frazier. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Move your head. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And he returns on that exchange. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Now he ties up there. Rivera's defense is it ever good look at how easy he's able to block those punches Rivera's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand Teddy you've said many times it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands well one place I can tell you where not to put it in the middle and he needs to move it to the left outside that right hand. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Rivera. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. He scored well after being hit himself. End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you search into those corners that you're not forced to search. Kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and you go into those little nooks and crannies where you never knew there was dirt. Now you got to start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. And he's holding. Great movement to get away from those punches.
Well, this can become a bore, and he's making a decision to do it as he ties up again. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Hey! Keep your hands up! Rivera's coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable, if they're firm. shot but he came back with a right hand of his own tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark comes right back with a shot of his own And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Rivera's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You can still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work, but make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tool because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Comes right back at him with a left hand. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Nice jabs there by Rivera. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Rivera is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. the headshot but he carries that uppercut absolute big shot up off the deck and now in control he scores a knockdown of his own and he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown he got a little careless a little lazy the ref is stopping this fight Rivera 
Woods, opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Teddy, it wasn't long ago we looked at your scorecard and he was trailing in this fight. Now, he's sitting there with his arm raised. With everybody, Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for a much-anticipated main event. Six rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Smith showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Priceless is making his way to the ring right now, and he's doing so with a very business-like approach to things. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. A well-placed left hand up top. Solid right by Smith. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Priceless is landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Priceless. Scores up top with a left. with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Right. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Smith. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Priceless is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. 
It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in the film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forwards. Not able to land the headshot. Nice work with the double jab to the midsection. I need to see some head. More head movement. Good looking right hand after he got hit. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Smith's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Last 10 seconds, able to land the hook to the head. So the round comes to an end. Joe and Teddy here ringside, and we've been enjoying sitting ringside because, Teddy, I know you have some of your fine guests from the Dr. Theodore Atlas Charitable Foundation with us here tonight. And they're having a great night, Come and on, it's man, great to have them here. The thing that I want to say is thank you to all the people that help us help many. They trust us. They allow us to be the middleman to give out the resources where they're needed. Thank you for mentioning, Joe, and thank you to all the people that help us do what we do. Now there's the jab. over that hook upstairs. <laughs> Little head knocking with that right hand. Priceless is putting forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three-punch combination scoring. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Head hunting with the left. Little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good looking uppercut that time. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Priceless is using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use it, to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Not much action as he just ties up. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And here he goes again with the clinching. Priceless is able to land a nice clean left hand. Oh, good exchange there. Shot lands was a hook. Come on, get Smith showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. And he's really doing a nice job of hitting the mark with the jab. And that's exactly what he needs. And it's not hard to hit the mark when the mark's coming at you. The right choice of a punch. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining. But I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Priceless is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Smith. Oh. 
Eddie, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Another flush shot lands upstairs. And now he's targeting upstairs. Back to the body. Now he's trying to create an opportunity here as he backs him up against the ropes. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Keep moving. Keep moving. And oh, what a good, strong uppercut by Smith. Priceless is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Double jab upstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Priceless. Smith's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Now you're seeing stamina right here. How can they possibly keep up this pace? Minutes ago in this round, and they have been all out. I know how I feel, Joe, myself. I mean, I feel like I've been on a roller coaster, except I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Smith's right hand working well that time. He scored well. See what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. on the combination by Smith. Three minutes gone by in this round. But you gotta keep working. Keep working in this fight. So three rounds are in the books here. Smith's up two rounds to one on Teddy's scorecard. Punch stats don't always tell the story, but in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off him, just to keep him defensive. Has that hurt him as the fight goes on? hit the elusive target with that straight right. Priceless is snapped by a right hand. And just like that, he's able to turn things around. Remember, he was stunned. Now he's in control. Hey, remember, when you have that eraser, that power, you can suddenly get rid of a lot of mistakes. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Smith. Smith making for a clinic here in combination punching. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They are the ones that wind up landing. Getting it done with that straight right hand. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Nice strike after catching one. Priceless is in a tough spot right now. Boy, he got rocked. Big shot there. A wicked left hand floors him. is unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him.
So he's unable to recover from that one clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously I'm not... Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for tonight's main event. Six rounds among heavyweights, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. The greatest coming to the ring with his entourage of corner men. But they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. Boom Boom's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Get your hands up. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. One, two, one, two. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And he ties up on the inside. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Boom Boom's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is the block. He did it there well. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Get out of the way. Boom Boom's on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. That's a well-scored left hand by Boom Boom. Blocks that belt line well. Unable to connect by Boom Boom. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway through round number one. The greatest is hit hard that time. What a solid hook to the body. Scored well up top. The greatest is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Combination to the head. Right hand downstairs. Guard your head! Good 
What shot upstairs. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Flush right hand to the head. Boom, boom, the victim of a powerful hook. End of this round, Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, hey, I know you learned everything from the legendary Cus D'Amato, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cus? What did you say to him? Well, it wasn't a paycheck, I'll tell you that much, because Cus didn't believe in paying you for that. He said, you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cus believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say, I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned, of course, that from a technical side standpoint, side. you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them right, teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always under fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. He gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Digging in with a left to the gut. He missed with that headshot. Halfway through this round here. Well, Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. A solid uppercut by the greatest. Fires off that hook. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Zones in on that overhand right. And now he's targeting upstairs. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. And he engages in the clinch. What a hook by the greatest. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Cover up, cover up. Final 10 seconds of round number two. The greatest is scoring with that right hand. You're letting this guy get away. Come on. This is it. you got to make it a fight. Now. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Nice block by the greatest. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Boom, boom! Smashed by an uppercut. A stabbing right hand by the greatest. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Oh, what a whiff by Boom Boom. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Now hugging on the inside. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Come on. 
Another clinch. Boom Boom's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Boom Boom. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. And there's the left hand working well for him again. Boom Boom's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. And he just holds on there. Good heart strike by the greatest. How about that left hand? He got to him, he heard him there. Boom Boom's opponent is trying to smother him, but instead, he's pushing him away, trying to land a big shot. And he's lucky he's getting away with it, Joe, that the referee's not warning him for this. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by the greatest. Ten seconds to go in this third round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And the round comes to an end. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. The greatest is up two rounds to one. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. The greatest wrapping up right now against his opponent. You know he needs a breather. Yeah, and he's smart enough to know it himself. One, two jabs up top. Fires right back at him. Doubling up the jab by Boom Boom. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. The greatest on the receiving end of a hook. Teddy, he's just not keeping up his guard here. He's getting tagged. And you know what, Joe? It's gotten to the point where the corner has to start thinking about much more of this. They have to stop it. Great round now. Back and forth after he did the hurting. Solid. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now. a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Up your head, kid! He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. You see him holding on. Beat him to the punch. Come on, kid. Fuck this. Wow, is he defensively sound? A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. The greatest is Jab doing wonders again. Teddy, what's it done for him in this fight? Well, it's set up everything. I mean, start with the defense. He's kept his opponent defensive. He's kept him to the point where he's, a, you know, he's not so aggressive anymore. And also, it's set up his power shots. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds.
How about that? What a round we just saw. Both men were able to get to the other. Both men seemingly hurt in that round. And the kind of round where a judge really has to do his job. Everyone else does their jobs. Trainers, managers, we're trying to do ours. But now, it's up to the judges to really look at that and find where they can separate the two fighters. Good work defensively by Boom Boom. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the greatest. Get after him. showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of the fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by the greatest. Blocks the headshot. Boom's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. And yet another right hand lands. Took a shot, now he gives a left. I gotta stop and make this statement at this point in the fight. This may be, combined, one of the most amazing performances I have ever seen. How are they able to keep up this pace? Something way, way down inside, and it's beautiful to watch. How about a return to center with the left hand? We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Comes right back at him with a left hand. There's the old one-two coming after him. for him himself, and it's a left hand. Sharp and accurate one-two by the greatest. Boom Boom's punch didn't come close. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the greatest. Boom Boom's thinking right now that he's doing a good job defensively, but it's really not the case, Teddy. Every so often, you will see a punch split that guard. Yeah, he's just standing there. First of all, the gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Exchange, he fires back. Let's see some defense. Keep doing what you're doing. Get him, get him. Now he 
ties up there. Punch and leaves himself wide open. Well, it's like leaving your window open in your house in the middle of winter. You know, a lot of cold air is going to come in. Guess what? Some hooks are coming in soon. Well targeted two punch combo by the greatest. This was an easy fight to score from start to finish after that effort. Well, you never know in this sport with the scoring, but this is one you had no. We're going to know in moments here as we send it up to the ring. So all three judges give him the victory. A very good night by the greatest. I don't think it was ever a question of who. It was Everybody, glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Six rounds in the heavyweight division. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Big Trains making his way to the ring right now, and he does so with an attitude that belies his in-ring intensity. Hound Dog's belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. No. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. It's what the old-timers want to see. Combination punching by Hound Dog. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Hound Dog. Blocks that punch. Good right hand. Big train so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Hound Dog's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. 
Good return fire that time. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. And now he scores well with a straight right. Big trains tagged by a tremendous power punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice. Big Train's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. What a solid left by Hound Dog. And that is not what his opponent really wants. He's backed up against the ropes. And a top-notch right hand by Hound Dog. Big Train's being damaged right now. Punch after punch is coming in. And he's holding. What an impactful left hand by. Wow! And down he goes after that left hand. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Super jab by Hound Dog. Big Train's right hand scores well that time. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Big Train's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Keep your hands, all right? Now keep your hands up. I need you to box. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions. That big train stumbled back. He just got hurt. Hold up. Go. Hound Dog's right hand scores well. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Blocks away that headshot. Nowhere close that punch by Big Train. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Yo, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. job with the left hand. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Big Train. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. And now he's targeting upstairs. He's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Halfway through this round. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Well-targeted right hand by Hound Dog. Big Train's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. That could set up things to come there, that jab by Hound Dog. Move! Hound Dog's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Commits to the straight right. Big Train's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. 
Nothing there on the punch by Big Train. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Hound Dog's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punches. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Listen, that's the kind of round that puts fans on their feet, but the kind of round that gets a corner man anxious. What do you tell a guy after he's been in a back and forth role like that? Move your head. Keep your hands up. You know, don't get caught with those shots. We worked in the gym to get away from those shots. And one other thing, you got to give him a little confidence. Remind him, if you train for a tough fight, you're ready for this. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Hound Dog's hit by a big left hand. And bang, and away he goes. Wow, is this good stuff. What good stuff. He just scored the knockdown after being knocked down earlier. Joe, that's incredible. And the knockdown earlier actually One, set up this two, knockdown because his opponent, he got a little reckless, a little careless. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. to the halfway point of this third round. He just missed that shot up top. Big Train's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now make the adjustment. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Off the target by Big Train. Get to it, Frank. Pace yourself. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Big Train. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Big Train. Nice. Nice. Solid left hand to the head. And now you see him scoring well with the right. And this round comes to an end. Stand straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. Well, let's look at Teddy's scorecard through three rounds. Hound Dog sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. Big trains. Got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. And he returns on that exchange, protecting his head well with his guard. Again to the melon. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Big Train's just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track him down. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. 
great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Big train stunned, and he cannot block this onslaught. Look at that. Smart veteran move. Hurt, so you hug. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And the old one-two by Big Train. He is wobbly and damaged and just flailing with his arms trying to punch back. here he could go down with that bad defense now he's just walking him back a bit there up against the ropes final 10 seconds showing you some defense there with the block this round is in the books, and it looks like the gas tank on this fighter may be heading towards empty here. What is this, a case of guys just not putting in the road work and the conditioning prior to a fight? No, you got to figure he came in. His weight was good. Scales don't lie. We looked at the weight. He came in pretty good condition. I think what it is is now he's starting to get broken down a little bit. Physically and mentally, the other guy is starting to impose himself on him. He's jumping all over him now. Big trains, nailed by that shot. Absolutely rocked. He could go down here, Teddy. Good block by Big Train. Trains got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands. strong right hand by Hound Dog. He's a weeble wobble in the ring right now, just wobbling away. Oh, and there you go. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. the knockout victory his man's been down now he's trying to make him out this is a spot even though you got him hurt you get a good defense so you don't get caught anything by surprise use your jab go to the body and then go upstairs then you'll get the knockout back and forth exchange <laughs> There's a clinch after clearly being damaged. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Look at this swarming attack. Big trains taking a barrage of punches. He could go down. Looks like my screen door, my back porch. I mean, the mosquitoes, there's so many of them, and there's little holes. Some are getting through. Shot blocked. <laughs> Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. <laughs> Good 
Good block. Listen, this is it. One more round. I want you to catch him on the way in. The sixth and final round has arrived. Good job staying away from the danger there. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Hound Dog's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, <laughs> you, you made a good point there, because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Nice strike after catching one by Big Train. Much action as he just ties up. He takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Big Train. Big Train's leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Come on, Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. But he gives one of his own a left hand scores. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. From start to finish, it was utter domination. This was an easy one to score, Joe. As for that expected outcome, we send it up to the ring to hear from the judges. A well-deserved win by Hound Dog. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You're going to have your eyes closed.